Okay, and here we are several days later. <laughs> uh, so you get a tiny little instruction booklet with this. Unless you know what you're doing, you're going to have to look things up. You're going to have to watch YouTube videos. I did have a YouTuber named Muzzworks answered a question for me, and it was something so simple, uh, yet I was really having difficulty figuring out how to do it. So, again, uh, I appreciate your help. Thank you very much. You know I'm going to play my favorite game on here. I'm going to play other things, too, but this is my older system that I got, I think, around 2019, around the beginning of 2019, and then, you know, this big, beautiful screen, so... To show you the, the major difference in screen size. Um, this game is still viable. This system is still good. Still works great. But, wowee. So, you know, everything on here, everything on this Pal Kitty RGB 30 can be changed. So, you know, I took out the filter and the shade. So that, uh, shader, so I could have just a clear crisp screen because I understand some people want scan lines and they want to deal with it um, the way they played it or the way they think it was played years ago. I have no desire to do that. I want to see it crisp and bright. <laughs> so I do have the brightness on this turned down because it's a little bit of a battery hog compared to this one. So, yep, that's where we are today. I've managed to uh, change some settings and get some stuff situated. I'm very pleased with this so far. Um, I wasn't pleased with my high score. I think the first time I tried this game, I got only like about 95,000. So I have to get used to the buttons and, you know, these buttons are nice. They work well. I don't have any problem at all. I noticed that mine are colored. And some of the others I've seen are not, so I don't know how I ended up with the uh, the little color inlay for the buttons, but I like it. I think it's awesome. Great system. Enjoying it so much. There's just a little bit of a comparison. Now, this one, this older one, I did notice was on sale on Amazon for like $39, and it's very functional. I cheated a little bit. I have a tendency to do this. I just taped an Atari cartridge to the back of it because I wanted that extra bulk in my hands. I don't I don't really like um, when they're so small, but that's the current trend. Small, small, small. This one, because these buttons are located up toward the top, and my hand rests, you know, it rests down lower in my hand. It feels like a taller system than it actually is. Yeah, so I won't have to tape anything to the back of it. <laughs> All right, thanks.